What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrader.com. Today, we're going to be checking out these Global Link RV cam locks. So, they are going to go on your hatches or your basement doors. They're a good replacement for those that might have worn out, or if you just want to key alike the whole side of your RV, you can do that. Let's check it out. Now, these replacement cam locks are going to come in a few different sizes. They're going to be 7 8 1 and 1 8 1 and 3 4 and 1 and 3 8 now, because they are global link, they are key to like. So that's the nice thing is you can look at the key code on there, get one that matches it. So if you're just replacing a couple doors on your rig, you can get it matched to the other ones. That way you only have one key on your key ring instead of five or six for each basement door. It's gonna be made out of stainless steel. So you don't have to worry about it rusting, being on the outside of your door. And it's gonna have this gasket scale in the background. So that way it's gonna keep everything nicer, longer. So you don't have to worry about any of the elements getting inside. Now what comes with insulation is not so bad. You have to pop out the old lock core first, unless yours is already missing. You just have a nut on the back that you're gonna loosen. It should come right out. Check out how I did it. We're gonna insert our core where we took out the old one. Push it through. Make sure you get plenty of the back section through so you can get and thread on and that. Now we're gonna just do that by hand for now. We'll come back with a tool and get it even tighter. This lock washer is supposed to go on before the nut, but now that digs in to the threads there and it's gonna be hard to get back off. And since we're just putting this on for demonstration purposes, we're not gonna use it today. Now we're gonna come back with our ratchet and tighten it down. Now we got the screw with the washer on it, but we didn't get the striker, so that's separately. So use the old one you have or order one of those separately. We'll put that into place and then add our screw. Now we'll come back with the screwdriver and tighten it up. Now with install, let's make sure it works. So lower our door, turn the key, looks good. It actually wasn't too bad to replace it. This had some advantages over the old lock core that we had in there. This one has that seal on there now, so that way I don't have to worry about anything getting through that section, which means it's all gonna work nicer for much longer. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.